This is the most budget-friendly smart ring and smartwatch combination that I've ever seen. It works on both Android and Apple ecosystems. So today I'm gonna take it around New York City and test all the features, show you what it's like. This video is sponsored by Amazfit. What's super unique about the Amazfit products here is you can have two devices that send all of their data and merge it into one app, which is the Zep app. And it's gonna pick the most accurate data from each device. So if I wear these both to sleep or I wear them to work out, it's gonna extract data from both of them. Or if I really want to, which is my my favorite option is I can wear the watch during the day when I work out and do different activities and then I can have the ring by my nightstand and wear that when I sleep and I know that both of the information is going to be in the same app I'm going to get insights and readiness from the ring when I'm sleeping in the same app and then I'm going to get my heart rate and workout data from the watch all in the same app which is super unique because there's no other platform really doing that right now now when it comes to the design and hardware of the Amazfit Helios ring it's made of skin friendly titanium uh, it's super lightweight like most smart rings it's gonna be a bit thicker than a classic ring but it's definitely lighter than all the other smart rings I've tried love that it has kind of these dots on the top it gives a unique look as well as the standard notch that we see on pretty much every smart ring on the bottom to make sure that you're wearing it the right way and all of these water resistant so it's super easy you can shower and swim with it and you'll be fine when it comes to the design and hardware of the Amazfit Balance watch, I really love that it looks like a classic watch. It doesn't have the look of a smartwatch, but when you turn on the screen, you know it's a smartwatch. It does all the recovery features. It's got a heart rate monitor and a ton of other things, even like a stress sensor, but it has a little digital crown on the top right so I can scroll through things and I can press that just like a button. And it has a second button on the bottom, which takes me to my workouts directly right now, but it feels really nice. It's super light. There's not a lot of watches, smartwatches that are this light. And the nylon strap makes it super easy to adjust and make it exactly as tight as you need it. There are no notches and it doesn't slow you down from putting the watch on and wearing it. Now, if you watch my channel, you know that I love outdoor running. I also love some cycling and weight training. And this watch for the price, it can do a ton. It has dual band GPS, which we're about to test right now. I'll do an outdoor run here in New York City. It supports offline maps. So if you need to navigate to figure out where you're going and not have to keep your phone nearby. And it has a ton of different kinds of workouts. If you're doing strength training, it can measure up to 25 different kinds of sets. Um, know how many reps you're doing and give you all that information when you're working out. And then you can also customize the data field. So for example, for running, I prefer to have, you know, whether it's instantaneous pace or maybe I need heart rate or I need all that information in one data screen. You can customize the watch face for that workout to really get the information that you need in a specific watch face. So I really appreciate that. And custom workouts. I think it's important to be able to write a workout and then send it to the watch. You can do that inside the Zep app and then send it to the Balance watch. So I re really do appreciate that. The second advanced feature that I really appreciate is the integration with external sensors. So having a chest heart rate strap, connecting to a power meter or cadence sensor on your bike and being able to ingest that data into the watch. For this price, like being able to do all those things is really powerful. Now we're gonna test the dual band GPS support here in New York. I'm gonna do a quick run and see what kind of data we get. So we'll check back in a second. All right, we just did about three quarters of a mile. Let's review the data and see how accurate it is. Just finished the workout and now I can just tap finish. It's gonna save it. We did 0.9 miles. Max time about nine minutes. I can see my aerobic and anaerobic, very similar to Garmin's. It shows me a recovery time of 11 hours, the map of where we ran, and my average pace of 10 minutes and 12 minute per mile pace. And I can view it in the app as well, so let's check that out. Now looking at the data, I can tell that it's not perfect. Most GPS watches, especially in New York City, are not when you're running around the tall buildings, but when you're kind of on the west side highway, it is super clean. And overall, it was able to stay pretty close to the streets that I was running on. You can see I did a loop around this building. Um, there is a bit of a jaggedness to it um, when I'm going through the places with really tall buildings. Uh, and then I love that I can see all of the advanced analytics that I need. Um, this has everything that every other smartwatch will have, you know, your average pace, heart rate, the time, the calories, even a training load has graphs and charts of my pace and heart rate over time. Their app integrates with a ton of third parties. So Strava is important to me. Apple Health, I wanna save it and access that data. My other app, Relive, Amazon Alexa, Adidas Running, Kamut, and Google Fit if you have an Android device. And next, we're gonna go talk about recovery and sleep tracking. So let's head home and get into bed together. What? No. So the Amazfit ring and watch will give me recovery and readiness scores. Um, I can see trends over time. Obviously my sleep wasn't that good last night, but I've had some good nights of sleep. 
Uh, so it gives me that score, which then I can use as a recommendation in terms of what activities I want to take on today. It'll track all the standard things that all the wearables track, like HRV, your resting heart rate, breathing quality, and even your temperature. Um, and after you work out, it'll give you kind of a recovery time. If I do a really intense workout, um, you could say 24 hours. If it's easier, you know, maybe it's 12 hours. One unique feature is it can track your emotional states with an EDA sensor, which is electrodermal activity. And they also use the HRV sensor, which is heart rate variability, to give you daily and weekly expression of your potential emotional states. Now, I know this is fitness tracking focus, but there are a lot of lifestyle features that I really appreciate about smartwatches. First one, obviously telling the time, but the second one is finding my phone. I always tend to forget where my phone is. And on this watch, I can easily tap right here and it'll start vibrating or even play music. And then I can easily find my phone because it's making a sound. Just like that. And I'm like, oh, okay. Here's my phone. I know it's on Do Not Disturb. I would not have been able to find it. So that's probably my hands down my favorite feature of most smartwatches is the find my phone feature. Next is calendar notifications. I know when I have meetings and things like that, it'll buzz and tell me what's on my calendar. I can even just check my calendar if I need to just by scrolling into the apps and I'm finding the calendar app on my app store and not just calendar notifications, but general notifications. I can have them all pop up on this watch. I typically turn them off because you don't want too many notifications coming on your wrist. But if you're someone who really needs to have, you know, messages, all your app notifications, you can have that show up on your watch. And lastly is Amazon Alexa. So I can easily find Amazon Alexa and tap and be able to use my voice to tell us to do things. Um, I love using voice assistants to control my home, like turning the lights on and off. So knowing that this is available on the watch can make my life just that much easier. Now, when it comes to charging and battery life, the ring will charge in an hour and 40 minutes and the watch will charge in about two hours and you can easily place them on the charger. The great part of them being a pair is I can put one on the charger while I wear the other one. Um, the watch will last 14 days with the AMOLED screen. Just that's 14 days is insane. And the ring will last up to four days. The smaller the ring size that you have, the smaller the battery. So that just means that it might not last as long. So the bigger rings will last slightly longer. And then depending on the features and the health monitoring, kind of like if you want the one minute or five minute intervals, that's also going to impact battery life and how often you use certain features. Um, but I do like that the watch charger is relatively small. It's super easy to put on. It has two pins. We can just lock it in and it magnetizes on. And now we know that it's charging. The ring uses the standard ring charger that you see in almost every single smart ring. You, it does only work for your specific size. It is USB-C, but it will light up when we know it is charging. I would love to see a version of this where it goes inside of a case and the case itself has a battery. So when I'm traveling, I don't need to plug this into the wall. I can just charge it wherever I am. Speaking of size, the Amazfit Helios ring only comes in a size 10 and 12 right now. This is the 10. It fits on my pinky. I have really chunky fingers. I typically wear a size 13, but they are planning to release seven through 13. So there is a wide range of ring sizes. Those are coming soon, but if you want one right now, it is size 10 and 12. It will be linked below. So go check out Amazfit in the description. Now let's talk about price and subscription. So there is no subscription for this, which is amazing. I love that. Uh, the watch comes in at 229 and sometimes it can be cheaper if there's a sale going on and the ring is 299. So getting this pair can be cheaper than some fitness smartwatches out there, which is absolutely insane. They are linked below if you want to check them out and there's no subscription for these. They use the same app. It works on Android and iOS systems. Now let's talk about the artificial intelligence features inside of the Zep app. Artificial intelligence. <laughs> we keep hearing AI this, AI that. Uh, some unique things that Amazfit has done inside of their Zep app is allow some AI features. The first one that I recently talked about was being able to have a basic AI plan for running or any kind of cardiovascular training. It'll write the workouts and you can easily be able to do them on your watch. I think that is very unique and very interesting. I haven't seen that done by anyone. Um, there's also AI features around sleep and recovery. So I can ask it questions. I input the data. One way is just automatically by wearing the stuff. It's capturing the data from the watch and the ring. And then I can also add in, you know, caffeine intake, late night eating and all that. Um, and then I can ask it questions like, hey, does late night eating negatively impact my sleep? Which it most likely does. So that's the value of the AI is like, hey, I don't know what I should be doing about my behavior because wearables and data are nice, but behavior change is really what's the most important thing. So having a tool where I can easily understand what's going to improve my sleep, what's going to improve my workouts, and it's gonna kind of make that easier for me to consume where I can ask it questions like it's a friend, that is now powerful. So I love that there is an 
AI in here, it's Zep Aura is what it's called, and I can go ahead and ask questions about my sleep, my fitness, and I can even ask it to write me workouts and a workout plan, um, which I think is extremely unique. Having used the Amazfit ring and the watch for the past few weeks now, I think it's a great deal for the price and the ability to use it on any platform like Android or iOS and the ton of features that you get in their app where it merges everything for you. If you're looking for something budget conscious to solve a ton of problems, yet still be able to work out and track the data that you need, I highly recommend that you go check them out. There will be a link down below. This video was sponsored by Amazfit, so I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to go watch my other watch videos, my running content. I'm running the New York City Marathon this year, so I'm looking forward to training for that even more. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.